mentioned it, the last time these two men went one-on-one -on -one was 2012. Kushida was victorious that night. Kushida, an incredibly de decorated competitor, six-time former IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion, former Ring of Honor Television Champion, NXT Cruiserweight Champion. One of the greatest junior heavyweights in New Japan history. He's been uh, eyeing a move to the heavyweight division, so looking for a new challenge. We'll see how he fares here against Loki. Loki, of course, former House of Glory crown jewel champion, the first ever Ring of Honor world champion, X Division, uh, TNA X Division champion. I mean, what hasn't Kushida done? Six-time IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship, Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Championship with Alex Shelley. Yeah, I mean, look, a lot of tag team experience with multiple partners, but being in a tag match, very different than a singles environment. He's thrived in both, but he doesn't often find himself across the ring from someone like Low Key. Not at all. Ring of Honor Television Champion as well, NXT Cruiserweight Championship before they retired that championship. Kushida also has an extensive MMA background. He was training with Nobuhiku Takahata in junior high school to do MMA. And you can see his grappling acumen right now here against Loki. Won a lot of matches with that hoverboard lock, the uh, Kimura. There's a lot of different ways he can beat you. You know, people look at him as a, a, a junior heavyweight. You know, we, we can see him fly, but his ground game and his grappling game is something not to take for granted. And he's also got that 94-69 or the Kushida lock, a chicken wing variation, as well as the back to the future, the small package driver. Just saw... Kushida not too long ago, in fact, on AEW Dynamite, challenging Darby Allen for the TNT Championship. Great match. match that was. Loki, Jason, and Loki's been all over uh, himself, especially here in House of Glory. Uh, he's wrestled. <laughs> you name him. Who hasn't he, he wrestled? He's been here. Jay Lethal, <laughs> Bit Busick, Eddie Kingston, Shingo Takagi, Bandito. I mean, the heart and soul of House of Glory is certainly low-key, especially for most of 2022. As well as with Kenta and Shingo Takagi. Loki, of course, no stranger to Japanese competitors. No, not at all. Including Kushida himself, as was mentioned before. Still has that double wrist lock applied. Does Kushida. Loki earned his name as the World Warrior and now has been earning his new title of Pro Wrestling Grandmaster. As Kushida continues to ground Loki here. Amazing display of wrestling ability right now from both men, but especially Kushida at the moment. see Loki having a fight from his back. Not often at all. And of course,
course. Loki now trying to get position here. As anyone who has studied jujitsu knows, fighting from your back is sometimes the best place to be. Well, we saw him throwing those uh, leg kicks before. Kind of reminded me of Antonio Inoki and Muhammad Ali. We do a lot of damage going after a man's legs. Loki seems a little bit frustrated here. Loki with that waist lock and Kushida with that leg takedown. So far, Kushida seems to have been out wrestling Loki. Yes. I was about to say, Doc, it seemed like Kushida is almost one step ahead of where Loki is right now. Loki trying to figure out the key to unlocking Kushida's game here. He's really working over those lower limbs. And now into a Muda lock variation. Yeah, make it hard for a low key to do that double stomp off the top rope. And now bringing in the knee perhaps for a bow and arrow. Oh, look at this. Loki's all tied up. That is so painful. You can see the pain on Loki's face. Every single limb trapped now by Kushida. Wow. He's got to watch those shoulders. Yeah, thankfully, Loki has that tremendously strong neck, able to maintain that bridge and keep his shoulders off the mat. As Kushida plays up to the HOG faithful here at the NYC Arena, has been in complete control here of Loki early on in this match. Loki's Loki limping noticeably limping. limping, yes, yes has been done. And again, Loki goes, uh, or Kushida rather, goes right back for that leg. That neck mare take over, goes for a headlock, oh. but Loki finally counters into an arm bar of his own. Got that Fujiwara arm bar. Loki finally found an opening, but how long can he maintain control? Headlock by Kushida. Or traditional pro wrestling move. Shoulder tactical down by Kushida. Up and over. Low key with the leapfrog. Nice cartwheel. Nice drop kick by Low Key. It's the first real moment he's had in this match so far where it, it, there's been some separation there between him and, and, and Kushida. Yes. Now we're more in Loki's territory. He is an excellent grappler as well, but Loki's gonna have to use his agility and his speed, I believe, if he wants to defeat Kushida. And of course, those razor sharp strikes. Well, this is where we normally see Loki as the ultimate threat on the outside here. If there's anybody that's gonna bring a fight to you out here, it's gonna be low key. Oh my God. That one leveled Kushida down to one knee. Yes. Oh. oh. I'm gonna rip this skin right off your chest. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Good Lord. Kushida feeling the effects of those chops. I think I'm feeling the effects of those chops. Only a one count. Now Loki in full control in the center of the ring. Now it's his turn. In the air. Yeah, now it's his turn. To try to wear down Kushida, give him a taste of his own medicine. And something so simple, guys, like a body waist like this. Yeah, body scissors. Rest, yeah. yeah, right around the ribs. Yeah. Oh, suck the life out of you. Very difficult to breathe when someone with legs as powerful as Loki is squeezing your torso like that. And that was a nice attempt there by Kushida to throw all of his weight right on top of Loki to go for that leverage pin. Now look at this. Now Loki is in a bad position. Now 
Kushida finding a way to turn this around on Loki. He is just so adept at manipulating limbs and, and pressure points in order to cause pain. Is Kushida. Loki holding on to that headlock stubbornly there. Doesn't want back up. to let Kushida mount any more offense. Reverse that Irish whip. Hip toss. And that is signature Kushida there. Cartwheel into that drop kick. Kushida building momentum. And Kushida, since he has targeted all of Loki's limbs, he can go back to any one of them and cause even more damage. Now working over that left arm. Hey, he's, he is punishing uh, Loki in ways that we are not used to seeing. Just a dissection of Loki's anatomy here. Perhaps Legs, arms, ribs. Perhaps preparing Loki for that hoverboard lock. Irish whip out of the corner here, Loki. Wow, look at that mule kick out of the corner. Nicely done. Creates Kushida. the separation that Loki desperately needs right now. Kushida's half in, half out. Loki, wherewithal to hook the leg there away from the ropes. That's Kushida now hanging on to the ropes. Loki trying to figure out how to put together some kind of combination of offense. Looking to deliver those elbows. Ooh, nasty one. Oh, he's gonna, he's trying to open them up. Right to the crown of Kushida's head. Every shot precisely measured here, and Kushida Ooh. shoves Loki right. off right on that arm, arm guys. Yep. Yeah, right on that arm. Yeah, his arm caught the top rope on the way down. Well, what does Kushida, Kushida have in mind? I don't know, a glimpse into the future, possibly. Loki's arms all tied up there. This joint manipulation, very uncomfortable to even watch. Loki is in tremendous pain here. Oh, if he falls back. Oh, oh my God. He might have snapped Loki's arm right there. Loki squeezing his hand, trying to get the feeling back into that limb. Holds on to the ropes, blocks that Irish whip. Loki comes back with that big kick to the chest. Didn't have as much behind it as Loki's kicks usually do, though. No. Irish whip now. Tidal wave, but Loki could not complete the maneuver. He couldn't do it. He couldn't put pressure on that arm. All right, goes for that. Big knee, but he follows up with that kick to the back of the neck. Able to hit that switchblade kick. But and Kushida, beautifully done, rolls to the ropes to evade the pinfall. Absolutely expert ring awareness on the part of Kushida getting to the rope there. A nasty kick to the and, back of Loki. And I know we, we always talk about, guys, the, the level of opponents that have come in here to wrestle Loki. I, I, you know, I say it all the time. It, it's always different with somebody else in there with Loki, but I have never seen him mathematically dissected like this before. No, never. Never. Flat liner into the second buckle by Kushida. Ooh. And when Kushida wants to get physical, he would certainly get physical. That big kick there and... Snapping oh. the arm again. This is painful to watch, even from where we are. What a oh. position, Loki's in. He's got nowhere to go. Well, he's got, he got his fingers on the ropes. There you go. He knew where he was. That was very smart. It might have been the only move that he had available to him. Fingertip. That's all he has to work with. Fingertip away from defeat. 
super low key right there. They've kept this match very grounded so far, although uh, Kushida might be about to change that if he's, I wasn't sure if he was headed up top. That might be a mistake. Kushida's strategy has worked very well for him so far in this match. I would agree. I would agree. Why deviate? Well, he took a lot of time there going in and out of the ring, but now he's going for the hoverboard lock. Loki escapes for now. Now he's got it on the other arm. Oh. Loki has enough strength to chop in that right arm. Oh, but Kushida right back to the left. That's a nice move there by Kushida. Double foot stomp right to the heart. You see him changing his, his pace now. Nick Shin with the two count there. Loki kicks out. Loki's still got some fight left in him. Kushida We've never like the put Loki ever to give up. Kushida was like the mad scientist in there for several, several minutes and then turns the tide with the physicality. Back to that left arm. Must be in absolute agony if Loki can feel it at all. Kushida now. Sling shot. Loki blocks that. Double foot stomp backwards off the second row. Beautifully executed. Hooks the leg. Loki can hit power. that. Loki can hit that double stomp from apparently any position in the ring. Now he's got that dragon sleeper, perhaps trying to turn him over into a dragon clutch. Oh, well, Kushida's trying to fight it. I think he realizes he's uh, he's going to be in a bad situation if Loki gets full control. See how he's got his neck? Those knees from Kushida trying to fight out. But both men must be exhausted after all the punishment they've taken. Loki looking, attempting the key crusher here, possibly. Kushida escapes. Now he's got the hoverboard. Oh, my God. This could be it. He doesn't have it locked. Loki trying desperately to remain on his feet here. Flipped over. Ooh, oh, that, that was, was a almost nice a three counter. count. Kushida able to maneuver Loki's shoulders to the mat. Kushida can't even believe it. That easily could have gone the other way, but Kushida, I don't I think he's as surprised as Loki is. Kushida wore down all of Loki's limbs, got him in the hoverboard lock, and maneuvered his shoulders onto the mat, and Loki just was not able to kick out from that position. Absolutely brilliant strategy from the time splitter. It just goes, it just goes to show you, all it takes is three seconds. What a match between two legends here in Loki and Kushida. Kushida figured out a way to checkmate the Grandmaster there. Mutual respect, well deserved for both these men. What a match, what a night. We've had a little bit of everything tonight. Absolutely. Thanks for joining us today. We'll be back on Friday, September 15th, when House of Glory presents Fallout, live on the premier streaming network. We'll see the return of El Hijo del Vikingo, as well as the HOG debut of the Vaude Villains. Head over to hogwrestling.net for tickets and more information.